very good morning continuing up to our session of consensus mechanism as told in the previous video that what is consensus mechanism why it is needed and what is proof of work let us talk more about miners miners are basically group of people who are responsible to join the block into the blockchain this is not the work of a single man and as told before knowledge is not required what is required is a huge amount of computation power in terms of energy in terms of computational resources it requires the large company to pull together and put high end computers at together to find out that particular hash to find out that particular nonce which is less than the target hash to compute a hash which is less than the target hash and if they are able to do this then only a block can join into the blockchain now you must be wondering that why do miners and why do companies invest so much amount of time and money in connecting this block into a blockchain in finding it whether it is a valid block or not what is their own benefit so the benefit is that miners are rewarded for it miners are rewarded for it they get a reward depending upon the platform which they are using they get a particular amount of reward for doing this work so that is how a blockchain network works and this is how a consensus mechanism reaches to a consensus this gives a security and a trust worthy platform to a blockchain because a block can join only if the miners the partners of that platform have agreed and reached to a consensus yes that a block can join and to reach to it they have to follow the particular consensus mechanism algorithm of that network for example as we have seen what is proof of work so let's see proof of work a quick revision of proof of work then we will move to another consensus mechanism that is proof of stake so this is the concept of proof of work we have discussed in the previous session that how our input is given how sha256 algorithm is applied we get an output and if that output is less than ta target then the miners have to adjust the nonce so for adjusting this nonce they require a huge amount of computation power and unless and until this nonce is not adjusted the miners cannot create a block and the block cannot join into the chain for every blockchain platform a particular amount of time is there for example in bitcoin this work has to be done within 10 minutes if they are able to do it within 10 minutes they will be the winner and others miners will only verify it that whether the result computed by the first winning miner is correct or not but it is an energy consumption algorithm therefore a lot many more consensus mechanism algorithms have been evolved and platforms prefer to use those consensus mechanism algorithm as compared to proof of work for example ethereum itself which was using proof of work has now shifted to another algorithm that is known as proof of stake so let's see what is proof of stake now before we focus on what is proof of stake let me tell you in brief about what is proof of stake proof of stake stake itself the word itself implies that something is at stake so what is at stake or only those miners can validate if they are putting something on the stake so in proof of work miners were rewarded for doing the right thing similarly in proof of stake they should be rewarded then only they will do otherwise why they should do these things why they should expend spend their time and money and energy to find out whether the block is valid or not so they should be awarded but in proof of stake it works in a different way as compared with proof of work in proof of work the miners have to calculate solve complex algorithms to find out the value of the nonce in proof of stake anyone who has got spent a large amount of time in the blockchain platform anyone who has spent a large amount of time in the blockchain platform and have earned the cryptocurrencies and have earned a cryptocurrency with certain value they can become a miner and validate a 
block that is the concept of proof of stake they need not need to solve and find out the nonce hashing is still done the hash value is computed but proof of stake works in such a way that they have to put the things on the stake that they have to put the things on the stake that what is the thing which which is there on the stake they put the cryptocurrency on the stake and if they do the wrong calculation then that amount is gone their coinage this is known as the coinage the amount which they have earned by joining the blockchain platform if they do it wrong it becomes zero so this is how the proof of a stake works so let's see it with the help of a small diagram this is the flow chart that how does this proof of stake algorithm works a block header is created with certain amount of informations from the block which is given as an input to generate the sha256 algorithm as an output for the hash the sha256 is generated for the block hash now instead of comparing it with the difficulty level that whether the number of zeros are more or less whether the hash is less than the target hash it is compared with the coinage of that miner the coinage of that miner means the amount of coins he has earned since he joined the blockchain platform how much money he has put on stake so if it is greater than the computed block hash then only the block would be created otherwise the miner has to wait for the next round unless it until his coinage becomes more then someone else will become the miner and he will validate it so in this case the computation power which was required to compute the nonce is not required in this case the computation power is not required this is the benefit of proof of stake now ethereum as a platform has moved to proof of stake another examples of proof of stake the platforms which are using proof of stake is pp coin nxt ouroboros pp coin was one of the pioneer which used proof of stake as a consensus mechanism algorithm now in the next class we will be talking about various other consensus mechanism algorithms also like proof of activity proof of capacity proof of burn time these all consensus mechanism algorithms will be dealt in detail in the next video thank you